Hi everyone, my name is Adam, and today we're going to be using ACDC Ultimate 10 to create a dual exposure effect. This effect gives the appearance that two images have been superimposed. We're going to achieve this by using the Selection tool, Layers, Adjustment Layers, and Blending Effects. It's really important that the two images you've chosen have some natural similarities or patterns. This could be as simple as some vertical or horizontal lines that appear in the same area. I'd like to offer you a couple examples of what I mean before we begin. Also, before creating your own dual exposure effect in ACDC Ultimate 10, I'd recommend making a quick Google search to see what others have done. Commonly, you'll notice that most dual exposure effects will feature a subject, like a person or an animal, with an environment inside combined or intruding on the subject. I have two images here that I feel complement each other nicely. I'm going to open the image of the woman in edit mode and navigate to my film strip. I'm simply going to drag my scuba diving image over top of layer 1 located on the right of the screen in the layer panel. I'd like to make it easier to see the placement of my image. So navigating to the top of the layer panel on the right, you'll see a drop-down bar. These are blend modes. I'm going to apply a screen blending mode from beneath the layer panel. I'll place my scuba diving image by clicking and dragging it to my desired location. When I have a desired location, I'll commit the layer by clicking the button above the image panel. Now we need to begin making a selection. We're going to navigate to the Brush Selection tool, which can be found at the top menu bar, right here. This brings up a tool panel with Strength, Smart Brushing, Tolerance, and nib width options. I'm going to adjust my nib width and feathering to make a brush selection. I'm also going to make sure that the smart brushing is set to magic. I'm now going to click on layer 2, ensuring that I'm working off the right layer. Let's take a couple seconds to finish the selection. Once I have my selection, I'm going to navigate to Layer from the top menu bar, hover over Mask, and click From Selection. This will mask out all the elements I did not select. I can now navigate to Select from the top menu bar and click Deselect. I'm now going to hide Layer 2 and begin a new selection on my base layer. The places I'm selecting are the ones I'd like to erase in the above layer 2. Now that's great, but it probably doesn't make a lot of sense. If we unhide the scuba layer, clicking the blue eye icon, I can show you what I mean. Unhide the layer and select the mask. Using a black brush from the top menu bar, erase what's within the marquee selection. You can erase over a white mask by using a black brush, or paint on that mask by using a white brush. And you can always switch between the two if you overdo a section. Using a selection like this ensures that I don't erase over the marquee lines. I'm going to duplicate my scuba layer a couple of times and adjust the opacity and blend modes. Using the black brush and a lowered opacity, I'm going to soften the edges on the left side of my image. Lastly, I'm going to add a vibrancy adjustment layer to bring out the blues and a light EQ layer to lighten the image slightly so we can see her ponytail. That, my friends, is a simple, beautiful dual exposure executed on ACDC Ultimate 10. 
Thanks for watching this tutorial. Follow the link to learn more or subscribe for more feature highlights and tutorial videos. And just a reminder, this tutorial was recorded using ACDC Video Studio 2.